Hello and welcome. My name is Gage, and today on Weasel News, we're here to commemorate James Marshall, or better known as Jimi Hendrix. <coughs> Hendrix was an American guitarist and rock and roll legend. Hendrix was born November 27, 1942, in Seattle, Washington. Hendrix started his own career by playing on a $5 guitar at age 13. His father divorced his mother and started teaching Jimmy how to play. In 1959, Jimmy dropped out of high school and fully started his career as a musician. In 1961, Jimmy Hendrix was enlisted to the Army. A year later, Army was discharged. Through his friend Curtis Knight, Jimmy discovered the music scene in Greenwich Village. It is here where Jimmy started to do drugs. He was popping pills, smoking, and doing cocaine. Hendrix was inspired musically by American rock and rock and roll and electric blues. He favored overdriven amplifiers with high volume and gain. <clears throat> Jimmy started his own band called the Jimi Hendrix Experience, as him being the main guitarist and lead singer. Although Hendrix never knew how to read music, he would go with the flow and the feel of music. On the night of September 17, 1970, Hendrix's drug problems finally caught up with him. While living in London, he took sleeping pills that were prescribed for his live-in girlfriend. He started to throw them back up and fell asleep in the bathroom. The girl thought he was okay and went out and grabbed cigarettes for them. When she returned, she found him collapsed on the bathroom floor in which he had choked on his own vomit. She called an ambulance and he was pronounced dead. Hendrick was only 27 when he passed. At such a young age, Hendrick's impact on music affected many people's lives and changed them. This has been Gage for Weasel News, and here's Bert. Good evening and hello. My name is Bert, and today on Weasel News, we are here commemorating the 55th anniversary of the ratification of the 24th Amendment to the Constitution. This amendment was passed on August 23rd, 1962, and was not made a part of the Constitution officially until January 23rd, 1964, when it was ratified by South Dakota. This amendment was what the civil rights movement was working towards, as it ensured equal voting rights and finally counteracted the Jim Crow laws, which were developed in the post-Reconstruction South to disenfranchise black voters and institute segregation. The amendment outlawed poll taxes as a voting requirement, which were maintained by only five states at the time, Virginia, Alabama, Mississippi, Arkansas, and Texas. However, some critics of the legislation claim that it did not do enough to protect African American voting rights in both state and local elections. Therefore, on August 6, 1965, the Voting Rights Act was enacted and banned poll taxes on all U.S. elections. Though school segregation was already deemed unconstitutional by the Supreme Court in 1954 during the Brown versus the Board of Education case, Voting was still very much a segregated affair until this amendment was passed and brought an end to this. This has been Bert for Weasel News, Daily History Block. Thank you and good night.